Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So the new Outlook for Windows is one of those apps, as we have discussed previously, is that you either like it or you don't. And that's according to reports online and also to comments I even see on this channel. And the main reason is because a lot of classic Outlook users and mailing calendar app users feel that um, the app kind of rolled out not complete. It feels kind of half-baked. Um, although Microsoft is slowly but surely kind of improving it and rolling out some new features and functionality, and the emphasis is more on slowly uh, in that statement, um, it still doesn't feel up to par, according to a lot of users um, of its predecessor. And in regards to this, recently, yesterday, actually on the 7th, Microsoft announced that it's going to be adding AI-generated themes to the new Outlook. And I'm going to try and keep this short because it begs me then to ask the question, if the app, which according to numerous user reports, isn't up to scratch, why is Microsoft focusing their attention on adding AI-generated themes, which kind of feels like a frill and, added, and not part of the actual foundation of the app that should be running properly and be up to scratch before you start adding frills and features when it comes to our candy and cosmetics. And depending on where you sit with this, the themes are going to cost you $20 a month, which I think is a bit extreme. And that's if you have a Copilot Pro subscription which costs $20 a month and includes access to Copilot in other Office apps like Word, PowerPoint, and Teams. And while we are just talking about the AI-generated themes, I don't have a pro subscription, so I'm just going to use one or two images from that announcement. And Microsoft has said that AI-generated themes use Copilot to generate a design based on your location. So as in this example, we can see a cityscape of the New York skyline and in this example uh, based on your weather so if it's sunny you get the sunny AI generated theme if it's rainy you get the rainy you get the idea the rainy generated theme and Microsoft has said and I'm quoting if you choose you can make your themes by copilot dynamic by selecting how often you want it to update every few hours every day weekly monthly and they also mentioned that no two AI-generated themes will be the same. So basically every day that will change. Now that's the AI-generated themes out the way. And just on a side note, by the way, um, in case you're unaware, if you are a so-called normal home user like I am with the new Outlook app, you do have themes. They're just not AI-generated. They're just kind of normal static themes. So if you head over to your settings, general appearance, yeah, you have a couple of options, okay? So if you click on that, you've got other themes down here. So you've got quite a few options. I'm just going to pop that one on. So you've got the idea. But obviously, if you want the AI-generated themes, you have to cough up a bit of money. Now, getting back to my question, the new Outlook app still needs a lot of care. So it begs me to ask the question to Microsoft, why are they focusing so much on adding AI-generated themes instead of actually getting the app up to scratch where obviously it's got a solid base. It's making their users a little bit more happy because obviously they get a lot of negative feedback in this regard, but yet they are focusing on the frills and the fluff. Once again, let me know what you think in the comments. So thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.